two house guests will compete at one time. Whoever lands their dice on the board with the highest number wins. All right, Steven, it looks like you won this week's Hourglass Trophy. Of course I'm using this on Derek. I mean, none of the girls are gonna be on my side. If I get rid of Derek, I'm just alone. I choose to use the Hourglass Trophy on Derek. Woo! So precious. All right, well, since I have to nominate another person, I have to choose between you, Peyton, and Jordan. Peyton, I'm putting you on the block. Things worked out perfectly. I pulled Derek off the block, and now me and him are gonna make it to the end. And then I'll beat him for the grand prize. There's no problem with being runner up. Honestly, um, I thought I'd be out a long time ago, but somehow I'm still in it. Um, Emma's as confused as you are. Uh, I am thankful though that Steven did save me, but I realize now that I am kind of made some packs with a couple people saying we'd be final too, but I have no intention of keeping this. Um, this video is not sponsored by Skittles, but. How long have you been in here? Now you won't say a word about what you heard, right? Okay. <laughs> so what's up? Well, I just ate a whole bag of Skittles and my stomach's a little upset. That's not what I meant, Derek. I'm on the block. What's our plan? I mean, we still have a final two, right? Oh, yeah. Honestly, we just need to make sure Blake doesn't get enough votes to stay in. I'm the biggest threat in this game, so they're gonna wanna get rid of me. I can get Jordan to keep me. And I'll work on Steven. Do we even have a team name? It has to represent the two of us. The Dingleberries. What is that? Okay. What? The dingleberries. What is that? First off, thanks for saving me. Oh, that's over. It's something else now. Wait, what is that? Where'd you come from? Uh, get out of here! I have four dollars. Hand over, Buster. Okay, hey, gosh. I'm gonna get so aggressive. No, no, you're gonna be quiet, right? You didn't hear anything, okay? Just take it in there. Just take it in there. Pleasure doing business with you. Alright, so I'm gonna be completely honest here. I thought I was going to be gone way, way long ago, <laughs> but at this point, I've just stirred the pot a little bit. Okay. I have an alliance with you, I have an alliance with Peyton, I have, I have so many alliances right now. Honestly, so do I. You do? So I had one with Jared, where you were our pawn, and then we were trying to get rid of my dad. I had one with you, where we were trying to get rid of Jared. I had one with my dad, where we were trying to get rid of both of you. I had one with Peyton, to, um... I don't know, I just had one with pain. I don't, I don't even know what happened there. 
I thought what we had was special. I thought you would never cheat on me. Just confess doing the same thing. What? Stop trying to make this about me, okay? We're talking about you. Actually, we were talking about you. Whatever. What do you want to say? So, the meaning of this was to try to save Peyton, but honestly, send her butt home. I am just sick and tired of hearing her. She's always saying, Oh, well, I won the last 30 showdown, so I'm more important. I'm sick of it. She's a terrible partner. She didn't even remember we had an alliance. Dirt bag. She does have memory problems. So long story short, vote for whoever you want to go home. I just want to make people mad, cause some drama, and dip. Good talk? Good talk? I'm on the block, and Blake is too, so I really need your vote. I know we're both on the ghost team. Yeah, this is a hard one. I really need your vote, and I promise that I'll take you to the end. And I plan on sticking to that. All right, this is a lot to think about, but I'll consider keeping you. Should I know you're gonna send me home? Blake, I'm sorry, but I have to. And if I win, I'll give you 5%. You're gonna vote me out. But me and Payne have a final two. I'll never vote you out. This is brutal. Oh my gosh, talking to Blake and Payne was so hard. This is the worst season I've ever been in. Oh, this is so hard. I don't want to send Blake home, but I have to keep Payton. I think I'm going home. I think I'm safe. I think I'm coming. Sody house guest, it's time for the eviction ceremony. <laughs> Payton and Blake, you two are on the block. All right, so you each will have a chance to plead your case to the remaining house guests to tell us why you should stay. <clears throat> I think people should vote for me because who wants to win to Blake? I mean, <laughs> you guys are gonna be like, forget about it. you're like, oh, she's gonna be easy to beat, but she's gonna win. And you guys are gonna be like, oh, dang it, I lost to Blake. A four year old. So that's why I should stay in. I will vote for you guys to stay. So please keep me, because I'm cute. As the current head of household, I don't get a vote. So each of you will go get go into the diary room and cast your votes. I vote to send Peyton home. I vote to eliminate, absolutely destroy Peyton. Is that what I'm supposed to say? I vote to kick out Peyton. <laughs> I vote to send Peyton home. I'd just like to uh, shout out my mom. Um, my my wife Alexis. Um, let's see. I got a list here. Um, I like to thank my sponsors. Um, I like to thank my producing company. Um, get out of here! Get out of the room. I sadly vote to send Blake home. So by a vote of one to two, Peyton, you are evicted from the Sodi Shack Showdown. I'm this bigger threat. I'm the biggest th I'm the biggest threat.
guests slept in this competition. Things are getting crazy. Spicy. And it's time for another HOH competition where one of you will take over the house. Steve, you are not eligible to compete in this competition. But the power's up for grabs for everyone else. Not you, Steve. Not you. Who's ready to play? Rock your wall! Good luck, house guests. And head on down to the rock wall. <laughs> All right, so the house guests, it's time to play Rock Your World. Did I, did he just, oh, oh that was just disgusting. As Barr mentioned repeatedly, I am not eligible to compete in this competition. That's okay for you. All right, so this is gonna be an endurance competition, so each competitor needs to climb up on the rock wall. So if you fall off of the rock wall or your feet touch the ground, you're eliminated. <laughs> Last person to fall, Win. You have one minute to find your spot, and the timer starts now. All right, one minute's up. The game starts now. Get off that ball. Blake's looking a little bit stressed out. I'm I don't have any shoes on. That was a mistake on your part. Ow! That is not the rock wall you're holding on to back there. Hey! Oh, see the sap tossing over there? I'm Steven? Oh, man. My feet hurt so bad. Blake's doing awesome, actually. What's Blake so good for? Blake looks super relaxed. I'm just kind of chilling. I don't see Jordan, though. Oh, she's behind there. No. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to hold on to this, this part right here. What? Look at that face, she's got a good face on. Oh, she's shaking. Oh, he was. Jordan's looking a little weak. My feet are so bad. The question is, can you do no hands, Steven? <laughs> Steve's looking suspicious over there. House guests, we forgot to mention. There's gonna be some challenges in this game. Easy, but it was so hard for me. I got hit in the head with a ball twice. My feet keep slipping, and I don't think I can hang on much longer. Oh. Hey, man! Oh. 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 Another one bites. I'm eliminated. <laughs> Hold on, Blake. You got it. I'm cheering for you. I'm cheering for you, Blake. <laughs> Derek is sweating over here. At first, totally confident, totally relaxed, easy. Then my knees were weak, arms are heavy. I'm just hanging on for dear life, hoping that everybody else falls before me. I think I just saw sweat drip off Not a I'm eliminated. Pretty <laughs> please. please. I'm already right, Blake, please. Blakey, you got this. Hold on tight, Blakey. Ooh. Oh my goodness. My feet are hurting so bad. Like, I should have worn shoes. I just didn't want to crease my beautiful Jordans. Ooh, I can't reach. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. You can't use the wall. What just happened? I just fell. <laughs> I'm eliminated. <laughs> wait! You're the winner! Oh my gosh. 
Blakey, you're the new head of household. That's scary. I won the competition. This is my first win. I have big plans. I just want you know I'm like this. And I beat everybody, even the big boys. Watch out, boys. I'm coming for you. Gosh, I can't, I can't believe I lost to Blake. Of all people, I lost to Blake. Blake was shaking the whole time, I was fine, and somehow I slipped off. And Steven didn't pull through for me. I have no idea where Blake's head is. It's probably not in a good place. Oh my gosh, I was so excited for Blake to win this. But then when I told her she won, she was kind of staring me down a little weird, so I'm getting a little nervous, but I think this is my best case scenario to win this game. Let's get Derek out of here. I slipped. I just slipped. I... I lost to Blake because my feet hurt. Yes, Blake won. Now it's time to take back this house. Girl team all the way. All right, Blake, what's your plan for the week? Should I get the boys out? Yes, but make sure to only vote out Steven and Derek. They're our biggest competitors. Hmm, I have to see if your dad made me mad too. He <sighs> better be careful then. Yeah, but I'm still gonna put him up. They're going to? But he's my friend. And guess what? I'm thinking about it. I was like, what are you gonna do this week? Are you gonna put me up? Uh, I was talking to Jordan and I'm gonna put me up. Jordan wants you to put me up? No. <sighs> Jordan. Okay, Blake, I have a question. What if I can promise you that next week I won't put you up? Will you keep me safe? Pinky promise? Do we have a deal? I don't even think we really need to plan for anything because it's pretty obvious what's gonna happen next. You and you on the block? Yes. We just need to plan the veto. Hopefully we win and whoever wins takes himself off. So it's gonna be the best snake wins. Since I'm the OHOH, it's my duty to nominate two house guests. My first nominee is Derek. Me? We're on a team, Blake. Strong oh, King. My second nominee is Steven. I was your buddy. What happened to me being your buddy? Go sit down! How dare you! We were on a team! Shut. Oh, <laughs> Sorry, there's something in my eye. I have no idea where. <laughs> well, me and Derek are now on the block, so it's practically me versus him. I'm a little scared of that because I know he'll be the favored one to stay, so I need to do some work or get off the block or something because this is not good for me. I just have to win that veto competition. I'm pretty sure Derek has some deals with other people in the house as he ranted off to me in the kitchen about. At first I was a little stressed with uh, being on the block, but I think I'll be all right. I think it'll all work itself out. I hope Derek comes home. And I'm gonna make sure he does. I am so glad Blake put Stephen and Derek on the block because now the girls are in charge and she listens to what I say, so. My goal is to win this veto so Derek or Steven can't take themselves off. Sorry boys, but one of you guys are going home. Yes, man, win, Derek. I am going to win this veto. Uh, you know, I have faith, you know. 
we'll see what happens. I'm not gonna give it my hardest, but I'm not gonna completely throw the challenge. We're just gonna see how it goes. What does that mean? Are you trying to play mind games, huh? Is that what you're trying to do here? Do I look like I'm trying to mess with your head? I just don't need to try my hardest. Ah, oh, man, he's gotta be messing with my head or something. No, I don't know if he is, because he, he seems so serious, but at the same time, you be playing mind games or he actually means it. I think he means it. I think he just knows that he has enough votes. Anyway, so if neither of us win the veto and we all stay on there, he's gonna win. Oh my gosh. He's totally getting my head. I just, I just have to win this. Yeah, I'm totally messing with the set. Alright, I'm stoked that I'm not on the block. And if I win the veto, I think I pretty much have control of who goes home. I like that. Get it around, house guests. It's time for the veto competition. Who's ready to play? Tell the truth. Every house guest will compete in this veto competition. Whoever wins this competition gets the hourglass trophy. And has the power to remove someone from the block. You will watch a series of video clips and then will be asked a true or false question. If you get it right, you get a point. If you get it wrong, you get zero points. At the end of the game, the person with most points wins. Who's ready to play? Tell the truth. Me. Let's go! Yes, I'm going to the Sony Showdown. I'm Taylor and I love to bake and cook, so I'm going to be a baker when I'm older. So I'm watching a world renowned chef. Hopefully the other house guests like to eat well. I'm going to cook my way straight to the top. Sony Shack Showdown. Do I catch? Taylor wore her watch on her left wrist. Yes! I'm going to the Sony Showdown! I'm Taylor and I love to bake and cook, so I'm going to be a baker when I'm older. So I'm watching a world renowned chef. The answer is true! Jordan and Steven, you both get a point! What? Awesome! It looks like I'm going to Sony Shack Showdown. Whoa! -ho! I've been training and training for a solid year for this moment. In the second season, I got to the final two. Second best isn't good enough. I'm going to the finals. I'm going to win this. There was a white charger next to Steven. <laughs> second season, I got to the final two. Second best isn't good enough. I'm going to the finals. The answer is true. You all get a point, except for Blake. I have zero points whenever you can't get in them wrong. At this point of the competition, I'm feeling kind of good about myself. Steven just needs to get some wrong. Wait, what's this? I'm going to the Sony Shack Showdown! This will be my third season on the show. I did not do too well the first two seasons, but this season, it's going to be different. I've been training. I know who my competition is. I know their strengths. I know all of their weaknesses. Jamie had green nail polish on. This will be my third season on the show. I did not do too well the first two seasons, but this season, it's going to be different. I've been training. I know who my competition is. I know their strengths. I know all of their weaknesses, and I'm coming. The answer is false. You all get a point. This is so suspenseful. Me and Jordan are neck to neck. This is not good. I need to win. And I've guessed on a few of these. is Blake said I am the smallest I am the cutest and I am Blake I am the cutest and the smallest and I am Blake the answer is false Stephen and Jordan get it right <laughs> Sony Shack Showdown? This is so awesome! This is gonna be 
be my third season. Hi, I'm Jordan and I'm going to the Sony Shack Showdown. Some of my strengths are I'm super competitive and I'm learning some new skills. Soccer, singing, gymnastics, ballet. There's just too much to count. Hopefully the competitions that we're doing will involve those things. Cause I'm coming to win. The question is, Jordan had a missing tooth. Hi, I'm Jordan and I'm going to the Sony Shack Showdown. The answer is false. Gordon and Derek get it right. <laughs> they got a point. You guys, I'm in the lead. I got every single question correct. I didn't know I was this good at this competition, but I guess I am. I can't believe I got that wrong. I've lost the lead. I don't even know what to say anymore. <sighs> what the heck? I'm going to the Sony Shack Showdown! Alright, if I'm doing this, I've got to prepare myself. What am I going to eat? I'm Steve, obviously. I'm going to this competition. I've got every trick at my sleeve this season. The next question is, there is four bucks of butter in the fridge. Uh, what the heck? I'm going to the Sony Shack Showdown! The answer is true. Derek and Blake, sorry. And I have always been smarter than any runner. There were feathers on Parker's pants. I think they will win this season because I got bigger and stronger. And I have always been smarter than any runner. The answer is true. It looks like Derek, Stephen, and Jordan get it right. I swear they're leaves. It's a they're leaf. It's a leaf pants. There's not feathers. Well, it looks like Jordan may win this thing. What? Awesome! I'm going to the Sony Showdown. I'm Peyton, and I won the first season of the Sony Showdown. And I was runner up in the second season. And I expect this third season. I'm gonna win again. I hope the other house guest doesn't judge me as a threat because I am. My strategy is that I'm gonna up my social game and become friends with everybody and win the prize from right out from under them. The next question is, on the computer it's at 8.23. My strategy is that I'm gonna up my social game and become friends with everybody and win the prize from right out from under them. So Sawyer, here I come. The answer is false. Everyone got a point except Blake. How did I pull that off? I just guessed last second. I can't be beat. No way! I'm going to the Sony Shack Showdown. Let's go! I'm Jared. You may recognize me from season one and season two. Unfortunately, I did not win those seasons because of Steve. But this is a brand new season, and I've come to play. Jared had an AirPod in his left ear. No way! I'm going to the Sony Shack Showdown. Let's go! The answer is true. It looks like everyone gets a point except for Steven. Are you kidding me? I'm the only one that gets it wrong. I didn't even see an AirPod. <laughs> I'm going to the Sony Shack Showdown. Uh, my name is Derek. That's Uncle Derek to you. Um, 
This is gonna be my third time at the uh, Sony Showdown. Should be a lot of fun. In previous seasons, uh, I recently injured my knee. It's definitely not the same, but I'm back at it again, trying to get that W. Hopefully it's a good prize, because if not... All right, Sony House guests, are you ready for the last question? On the controller Derek was using, it was a gray camouflage. Oh. Oh. I'm going to the Sony Shack show now. The answer is true. And Jordan, you are the winner of the Hourglass Trophy. I'm the winner of the Hourglass Trophy. I just dominated that competition. I got every single question right. Now what am I gonna do with this? Smile a little, you just won. Dang, she got some attitude. Well, Jordan, I can see that you have the power to take somebody off of the block. Or just leave it sing. And I am here to say, to leave me on the block. I will. Good. Leave Steven too. Why? I'm totally serious. I want to go head to head against Steven. May the best snake win. What is Derek even doing? He, well, he wants me to do what I am going to do. They both can battle it out together on the block. Jordan, you are able to take me off the block. You need to think about this, okay? When it comes to the final two, it's up to the final vote. Who do you think you're going to have a better chance against? Me or Derek? What? Take me off and then Blake will have to put Steve up, okay? Yeah. Think about that. If we can get him out of here, because he's going to have the most votes, because you want to know what he did? He went around and he made alliances with everybody, so everybody wants him to win. If it comes to the final vote on who they want to win, they're going to pick him. Well, you gave me something to think about, but I still don't know what I'm going to do. Well, the opportunity is in your hands. Do you want to make the most important move of your life? Hmm. So, Jordan, this is our chance. Me and you versus... Steven and who and Blake in the end of this game can get rid Derek today. If you leave these things the same, me and you get to choose who goes home, we can take this house over right now. But then wouldn't we have to go against each other at the end? Just at the end, but we're gonna have to go against someone, right? Might as well be me and you. You down? Yeah. Let's do this. So I've been giving a lot I've been given a lot of opportunities, but I think I know what I'm gonna do. Alright, house guests, it's time for the veto ceremony. <sighs> Guys, since I won the veto competition, I can remove someone from the block. Or keep the nominations the same. I thought about this long and hard. No hard feelings, I'm just doing what's best for my game. And I have decided to not use the Hourglass Trophy. I'm keeping the nominations the same. Taking out the strongest people in the game. The strongest people in the game! She can't handle this! She's a coward! She's a baby! Why is it a loser? <laughs> you know what? I'm not even surprised you didn't use the hourglass trophy on me. I mean, I'd be lying if I said I uh, didn't see it coming. Unfortunately, it seems like the girls are coming after Derek and I, and they like Derek that more than they like me. So this is bad. All right, so my plan worked. I was able to get Jordan not to use it because I was the only replacement that would have been on the block. Now it's time to see who I actually want to send home. Everything's going as planned. So what do I have to do for you to vote for me to stay? Because right now I feel like I'm going to be going home. Just between us, me and Jordan, I think, have figured out you're going to stay. We're going to get Derek out of here, but don't let him know that. Okay, why, why not let him know that? Oh my gosh, because he'll freak out and it'll ruin everything. We can't have him know. Well, then you can just vote him out of the house. Don't tell him. Okay. 
Okay, I'm out. I'm a little sussed out over that. I mean, I don't understand why he wouldn't want me to tell Derek. I thought that would go a little smoother. I'm kind of weirded out that Steven's like ready to spill the beans when I'm trying to help him out. Maybe I need to rethink my vote. Honestly, I feel pretty safe. I'm not really worried about this whole eviction thing. I think they're gonna vote Steven out, so I feel fine. So, who are you thinking about voting out? You don't know? I haven't really made my decision yet. Do you need something to persuade you a certain direction? You don't need to stress, Derek. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna keep you in for another week. Comforting. Yeah, I'm totally sending him home. All right, house guest. It's time for the eviction ceremony. For the eviction ceremony, Derek and Steven will both get one minute to plead their cases to see why they should stay, right Blake? Mm -hmm. And after that, Jordan and I will vote, and if there is a tie, Blake will be the deciding vote. Steven, you go first. Guys, I need you all to listen to me, okay? I have been all of your guys' best friend in this. You, even though you lied to me, I was in alliance with you from the very start. I was with an alliance with Derek from the very start with you, but you also backstabbed us. <laughs> and Jordan, I've never done anything wrong to you. You guys want Derek there, who's been manipulating you guys the whole time, the entire game. You really want a manipulative, manipulative. How do you say that word? Manipulative little baby-faced child to be able to be in this competition with you over me. Are you done? Let me start. Now I'm done. Thank you. Okay. Now, Derek, it's your turn. All right. I don't know what the heck that was from Steven, but um, I think it's a mistake if you guys send me home. I could be... Uh... <laughs> what? Who am I kidding? I know you're sending Steven home, so I don't even care. <laughs> All right, now it's time to vote. I vote to evict Derek. I'm to show my cards. I vote to evict Steven. All right, Huskers, the folks are in. With a vote of one to one, it's a tie. In the event of a tie, the head of household has to break the tie, so you choose who will go home. A tie? I vote to vote Steven. I knew it! May the best snake win, maybe. What just happened? <sighs> I don't know. 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 I don't I just had to do what was best for my game, Jordan. I just had to. Now Derek's gonna win. Mm. It's kind of your fault that you, both of us are gonna lose. Bye, Steven. Steve ruined everything. Our plan was to send Derek home, and he pulls this. Now we're both gonna get out. I guess I'm not working with him anymore. My plan is to win HOH and send Steve home. My plan is working perfectly. I'm aligned with everybody in the house except for Jordan now, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to the final two no matter what. You know, honestly, good riddance, because I thought he was going to leave at the very beginning. I wanted him to leave. Just get him out of here. Good riddance. You know? Um, what are you eating? Um, well, I thought this was for everybody. There was just chili on the counter. I thought that was just part of the, the gig, the refreshments or whatever. That, that's been there for months. Like, months. Really? Yeah. I gotta go to the bathroom. Move out of my way. going on. 
Where's Derek? Oh, guys, what are we gonna do? Why do they have us like locked up here and not letting us know what's going on? Last I heard he was in the dining room, then they made us come up here. I don't know what's going on. It's okay, but what's that sound? I think it's the ambulance. Oh my gosh. Is he okay? This is getting really serious. I don't know if he's hurt or something. Did he like what could happen? Maybe he's sick, I don't know. This is serious. What do we do? Guys, I've been given some information that unfortunately Uncle Derek has left the Sodi Shack showdown. Is he dead? Unfortunately, it looks like he ate a bowl of chili that was left out by Jordan over a month ago. How do you know it was me? Oh my goodness. Oh, I forgot about that. No one's to blame, and it looks like Uncle Derek's gonna be okay after he gets his stomach pumped. He's gone. And I guess that means we're the final three. Oh, let's go! Let's just have a moment of silence in honor of Derek. We were gonna toss it out, but we just didn't get around to it. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> Hi, Sodi House Guests and loyal viewers. Bob here. Ready and excited for the Sodi Shack Showdown season finale. The three remaining house guests, Steve, Jordan, and Blake, are going to have to test their knowledge, stamina, and skills in this three-part season finale. Good luck, house guests. May the best competitor win. Final three. Final three, are you excited? <laughs> Knuckles. I'm super excited for this. I can't believe only one of us is gonna win this. I can't wait to win. It's gonna be me. No, it's not, it's gonna be me. Gonna but we have a lot to me. think about because we have to decide who we're taking when I win the competition. I think when you're gonna be hoping that you're gonna get taken when I win the competition. Oh, good luck. When I win the competition, you're not gonna be taken. I'm gonna follow the competition. Um, yum, yum, yum. Um. The craziest thing is how quiet it is with everyone gone, right? It doesn't smell as bad either with Derek gone. Mm -hmm. I mean, it still kind of smells. At least I put my chili bowls away. I do feel really bad about the chili bowl thing, but at least you got me into the final three. Sorry, Uncle Derek. It's not the whole shack to ourselves, it's so weird. It's been a tough time in here, I'm ready to go. I had to win this though, and I just, I miss being with my family and my friends and. All right, house guests, who's ready to play? Hide and go leave. Each house guest has one minute to hide their chip somewhere in the upstairs of the Sodi Shack. Whoever hides their chip the best, and it's the last one found, wins the competition, and we'll get to choose who they're taking with them to finale night. I'm thinking about hiding it in like, an obvious but hard place. My chip better be found last 
And if I win, I plan on taking Blake because she's easy to beat. And because Steve betrayed me. I better get this chip to make me win. Alright, I'm pretty sure that if I win, I think I want to take Blake because I think she'll be the easiest to beat. She doesn't have anything except for like one competition win. Easy. But in this game, I'm going to take my chip. I'm going to go with a secret strategy. Hide in plain sight. I hide it somewhere simple and they'll just look right past it while they're trying to look in all the hard spots. Last chip standing is this one. As soon as I hit this buzzer, the timer starts. Okay. I don't think they can see it over there. They'll never find it. My chip is hidden. My chip is hidden. You can go now. Alright, so this hide and go lead competition, we are all looking for chips. The last chip found will be the winner of the competition. And if your chip is found during the game, you can no longer be a seeker, so you are out of this competition. All right, girls, on your mark, get set, go! Hey. Guys, hide your chips. Not telling. Yeah, I First off, knock all the chairs down so it's impossible for these two little tiny people to try to find my chip. Perfect strategy. Then I'm gonna go haywire. I know something's gonna be on all those stuffed animals or in the heads. I'm pretty confident in the shark head or something. I'm gonna be digging through everything. I think I got this thing in a wrap.
congratulations, Blake. You are the head of household. Hey guys, we're in here. Where is it? No. Here? No, it's not in the stuffed animals. Stop. I looked through all of them. What? You hid it in the hole, the stuffed animal? How did it fit in that? Oh. Where is it inside? Best hiding spot ever. Well, Blake had the best hiding spot. My my um chip was found so easily. I'm pretty sure Blake's gonna take Steve with her. This may be the end of the Sony show showdown for me. I got so far. I had to have almost touched her chip. I had it in my hands. I threw that bear out of the house. I had it. And now I'm just totally at the mercy of Blake. I don't know what's going to happen because me and her games have been kind of... <sighs> I might be in trouble, guys. I feel um, bad about that, so I'm going to get bad. I think I may bring Steve. But I did. I haven't made my mind yet. All right, Sony Showdowns fans. This is part two of the finale. So far, Blake is the new HOH. Presently, she had a really good hiding spot. And she has all the power. She'll pick who to send home and who to take with her to the final two. Steve or Jordan? <laughs> Tough choice. Back to you, Blake. It's time for me to make my decision. Since I'm the HOH, I get a pick who I'm taking with me to the final two. No hard feeling, guys. I gotta choose one of you. I choose to take Steve. Hi, Jordan. Cold-blooded. I can't believe you. All right, house guest, it's me, Marvigan. It's time for the final part of the finale, where the remaining two house guests will plead their case. And we welcome back all of the original house guests. I forgot about you guys. I haven't seen you for a while, but I haven't forgot about you, Peyton. All of the house guests will vote to see who the grand prize winner is. Now it's time to find out who wins that one hundred thousand dollars. So, uh, who are the final two? I know. I, I we've been gone for so long. I have no idea. I don't even think I played in the game at all. Surprisingly, the final two are Blake and. Steve. Seriously? You stayed till the end? And for those who have not been paying attention or missed it, I got a hefty check from the producers to keep my mouth shut about a certain incident of being poisoned, so <laughs> I'm going to Hawaii after this. What? Who poisoned you? All right, Lake and Steve, it's time to plead your case. Why do you think you should win the Sony Shack Showdown? Because I'm the cutest, and I, and I don't betray anybody, and Steve betrays everybody. And I want the most important competition. I held on the world longest, and I won the Biggest is a witch when I hit my chip the best. So vote for me because I'm cute. Steve, why do you think you should win the Sody Shack Showdown? I'm going to start off by telling you a couple reasons why Blake could be the winner. She is the cutest. She did bring me here. But that's it. Besides that, I won the most competitions. I had a hand in every single one of your guys' evictions. Not only did I backstab a majority of you, which I know you might think is a bad thing, but I was here to win $100,000, not to be your friends. 
So you gotta look at the gameplay, you gotta look at the quality of the contestant, and see that I lost one competition to Blake. One. And yes, it was a big one. And yes, she's cute. But everything else ran through this guy for the whole game. It's an easy vote, guys. Vote for me. I voted for a person who was loyal for me. What'd you say? I'm voting for somebody who's my best friend. I'm voting for the person I actually trust. I'm voting for somebody who's not a bleepity bleep bleep bleeper. I'm voting for someone who's not a backstabbing piece of crap. I'm voting for someone that I think played the best game. Alright everybody, the vote of five to three. Blake is the winner! Thank <laughs> you.